Hello and welcome back. I'm Bebo Joe, and this is a tutorial for workers and resources. Today, I show you how to make quick money with oil. Hey, quick warning: oil is one of the easiest way to make money because it doesn't actually require workers. Second, let's get started. The first thing you have to do is look at your map, build up a nice and big like this, hover over your oil, and find a patch where there's a lot of red. Um, this map doesn't have a lot, but it has enough. So a little bit to our left, right over here, we should have some oil reserves. Go to your construction, find oil bitumen, the oil rig. Drag around a little bit and find anywhere where there is a lot of green. If there is a ton of green, use at least two derricks. Try to cover as much area as you can. I would say at the beginning, have your auto build on and um, pause the game. Because if you, there is something that doesn't work out right or it doesn't look right, um, it gives you a really easy way to um, just undo it in reverse. I thought there was enough green there um, that we can place another oil dairy. Keep looking for more oil. Um, the more you can find, the better. Cons uh, consult your map again. There's a little bit in the lake and there should be a little more over here. Now, I will tell you, you can't build on water. That makes sense. Use your terraforming and just make the water disappear. You don't have to make all of it disappear. Just do enough so that you can place your oil rig. And once you've done that, just go back to your oil rig, place it in a way that seems appropriate. Um, yeah. This covers most of everything, so that's good. And then you could do the same thing here. Here again, there's another big flat area, but you don't have to do it right now. Once you have all that set up, get um, piping. Piping is important because it's your only way to get it to a centralized area. Use one of these pipes as a one in and three out and a three in and one out. You usually want the three in one out. Try to connect it as efficiently as possible to the oil pipes that you just placed. That was the wrong pipe. Um, once you have these connected, figure out how you want to connect the rest of your oil network. If there's more oil around, um, great. If there isn't, this is honestly a pretty good start because you don't, you don't need much more than that. I'm going to ignore the one that we placed early on the water. Um, put this somewhere here. You don't have to put it super far away and then put an oil fuel loading and unloading station. I recommend you use a train. You can run a pipeline super close to the border and then put one of these oil fluting, uh, oil and fuel loading and unloading stations um, and just have a truck transport your oil. Totally works, um, but then you use a lot of pipe and pipe is expensive. So I would say just do a train. Um, it's more economical and both of them work. So you do you. You will need power, power is important. So connect this somehow that all of your um, oil is connected to power and then connect your rail line. Make sure that your rail connects to somewhere where there is a border post with a rail connection. In this case, over here is one. I'm just placing this. I'm not going to make it pretty. I just want to make it functional. But there is our connection. Great. One thing I haven't placed yet, you need one of the um, railroad electric connections because you want to use, you don't need this, but you want to use electric trains so you don't have to worry about refueling and that can mess with your pathfinding and that just has another, a whole other host of other problems that you don't necessarily want to work, uh, worry about. Uh, connect this one. I always recommend use the biggest medium wire that you can. For the next one, you can use medium wire or you can use high voltage wire. This is a relatively long way. Um, normally in a game, I would probably use a high voltage wire and use it to um, connect to my city. But in this case, it's just an example. So we place this one here, connect it to our uh, station. Let's close that map. And all of this can build uh, the the rail line is the one that uses that takes the longest time to build anything. So let's get your long rail depot in here somewhere. It doesn't have to be connected to power, but it's probably not bad if it is. Get that connected. And you can think about your, once this is done, to speed up the time a little bit. 
Um, and when everything is done, you may see that your derricks are not actually moving. That is because you have maybe not set your power to import. It says import purchase here, but you didn't actually tell it to how much it should import. So to set this up to 100%, you only pay to up to what you use. And now while everything else is still building, all oh, derricks are actually doing something and filling this up with oil. What's the rate? Um, this one does three tons of oil per workday. This one does six and this one does also close to six. So 15. 15 tons of oil per workday. There are oil derricks in the workshop that have a little higher rate, but that's really up to you. Now, find an electric locomotive that you like. Um, I like the speedier ones. Really, there's no right or wrong. Find a tanker that you like. Um, that locomotive is way too big. But 240 to start out is totally fine. Again, this is just personal preference. Use whatever you want. Um, set up your route. Make sure that when you set up your station, um, you wait until loaded, otherwise you drive empty. And you wait until unloaded here, and then tell your train to go. Now everything is set up. The train will just load up here. Um, maybe this is a good time to point out to make sure that you see that here's an arrow in, here's an arrow out. The arrows out mean the oil flows that way. Um, it's just for the direction of the oil. Sometimes that's confusing, um, so I thought I should probably point that out. Now, you essentially set up. Um, this one will fill it up with however much oil you have available. It will take a little while, but whenever it arrives, it will make money. You do want to watch out that you don't supply too much or that you don't export too much oil at once because the more oil you export, the lower the price because the lower the demand and eventually you can actually reach zero. So don't overdo it. This is a great way to um, start financing your uh, Republic, but it's not the only way. It's just the start. So once you're done with this, um, you can expand these all derricks as much as you want. You can add more and more and add pipelines here and just expand your rail network to just get more oil. Um, but it's really completely up to you. You don't have to, you don't have to follow anything else. Uh, talking about following, uh, make sure you tune in on Saturday the 16th because I will do a giveaway uh, key for this game, um, maybe a couple more. Um, I don't know the exact details yet, that's why tune in on Saturday. I will make an announcement and I will hope to see you guys there. If you don't have the game, definitely sign up. If you do have the game, maybe get it for a friend. Um, so I hope I see you there. If you learned something today, um, like and subscribe. If you didn't learn something, let me know what else I could cover. Um, and I will try to make a tutorial about that. But until then, thanks for watching. Bye.